This book uh, largely deals with what happened during the emergency and after that. And it makes a reference to the latest attack on News Click and on Prabir, Prabir himself. This is clearly one of the largest attacks on the media since independence. When we went to the farmer struggles on, on the outskirts of Delhi, we went to all the sites and everywhere you could, f you could see the anger that the farmers had against the mainstream media, the electronic media, called the Godi media. And if they saw somebody with a camera that looked like a media camera, they would start shouting, Godi media, Godi media, go away, go away. The journalists with cameras were welcomed there were news click journalists and that was because news click was reporting from the ground they were speaking the truth about what was happening and if news click videos of that time went viral got millions of views it was because the movement on the ground was amplifying what news click was saying because news click was amplifying what the movement was saying and this connection between people's movements and the media is something that was conceptualized and put into practice most of all by Comrade Probeer. And that is his biggest crime. The two main movements that uh, they covered exceptionally well, one was the protests against the Citizenship Amendment Act, the NRC, which came in its wake. That act was that bill was uh, uh, in 2019. And the protests against this were very spirited, they were quite widespread, and they were prolonged. And it was only the COVID-19 pandemic that uh, made it impossible for this protest to continue beyond that. The second and even more important movement uh, here was the farmers, the uh, protests against the agitation against the three farm laws, and the protesters succeeded because of their heroism, their resilience, and their prolonged fight, forcing the government, the Modi government, to withdraw the three acts. And it is clear that although News Click was not the only digital, digital uh, media organization that covered this. There were also others like the Wire, Scroll, and so on, as well as some sections of the mainstream media. Uh, but News Click covered this more effectively and more consistently and more meaningfully than perhaps any other media organization in the country. His crime is that he has stood for values of secularism, democracy, sovereignty, the integrity of this country and to give voice to those who do not find representation in the mainstream media. That is the reason why he is in jail. And that is the reason why we must all work very hard, not just for Probir, but for all such friends and comrades who are either in jail or are facing all kinds of cases against them, they are being intimidated, harassed daily. I don't know any other media organization that has been attacked by so many agencies. The Economic Offenses Wing of the Delhi Police, the Enforcement Directorate, the Income Tax Authorities, and last, the Special Cell of the Delhi Police. Also, we read that the CBI uh, has taken cognizance of it and they visited Prabir's residence. He was not there, he was in jail. So actually, one, two, three, four, five organizations. These are some of the details. We have already heard about uh, Prabir's background as an influential intellectual of the left, 
as somebody who's worked in the software movement, the free software movement, an engineer, a specialist on the power and telecom sectors, and somebody who was very, very sensitive to the rights of people, of ordinary working people. So he was, he had, he had uh, his activities were broad, he had a very broad ranging approach, uh, and so on, and we know this very well. Prabir was an engineer by training, but uh, he moved to several areas in this respect and really made an impact in the areas he, cho he chose to work in. He had long experience as a professional, and we know that background. There has been a post-2014 downslide of media freedom, and in the World Press Freedom Index, compiled by the Reporters Without Borders, this downslide has been tracked, and uh, India sank. In, in 2013, India was 140, was ranked 140 out of 180 countries. And in 2023, according to the 19, uh, 2023 index, India's rank sank further to 161 out of 180. This is their index. You can look at the methodology and so on. But there's a clear downslide in the same, the ranking by the same organization. If we want to protect the future of this country, if we want to protect democracy, secularism, if we want this country to remain a republic, a republic means that every citizen of the country is equally a citizen of the country. The country belongs to each one of us and each one of us belongs equally to the country. That is what the preamble of our constitution means. That we give to ourselves this constitution. And these are the values that Comrade Prabir Porkayasta has upheld for over 50 years of outstanding public service, of being an outstanding citizen of this country. And that is why, from leftward books, I am incredibly proud of having published this book and all the previous books that Comrade Prabir has been associated with. Journalists have been murdered in connection with their work. And I saw the figures yesterday in connection while well, preparing for another meeting. Between 2004, when the UPA came to power, and uh, 2013, like technically uh, they, they spilled over to 2014, but if you see the number of journalists killed in India, it was 11, murdered in India in connection with the work, not in some private dispute, not in conflicts, not in crossfire, but actually murdered in connection with their work, targeted and murdered, 11, bad enough. But from 2014 to today, May 2014, after the Modi government assumed office, to today, it was 19, nearly double. I'm not saying that uh, the BJP was responsible for all this, but it occurred during this rule during this regime, which claims that it is, uh, it has complete control. They want, uh, every, you know, everything to be ruled from Delhi. So this is another indicator. And of course, a large number of journalists have been detained. The situation is Kashmir, Kashmir is outrageous for journalists. I'm talking here about journalists. And uh, we know what is happening. The assault on News Click is not a police story, essentially. It is a, sto it's, it's a political dispensation targeting journalists. And it's a story of the BJP and Hindutva, a Hindutva authoritarian regime at war, I'm not exaggerating, with a medium-sized progressive and left-oriented digital news network. It's also a war against independent, critical, and challenging journalism that news click represents 